if you're shooting with a gimbal or handheld or an Ronin or a Zhiyun, tapos you're shooting with a lens that doesn't have autofocus, ang tanong doon is how do you actually control the lens? Dito pumapasok yung wireless follow focus. A wireless follow focus set usually consists of a motor that looks like this. And this motor has gears. These gears bite on to the focus gears of your lens. So what happens is it sits beside or on top or underneath your lens na nakarig sa camera ninyo. And this one is what drives the focus gear. So ang tanong, paano mo kinokontrol to? And that's usually done with a hand unit. This is the hand unit. It has a wheel that allows you to drive the motors forward and backwards. And in turn, you're able to control the focus. So simple, simple lang siya. Today, I'm gonna talk about our new follow focus set, which is the Nucleus M. The Nucleus M is from Tilta. Of course, it has the same functions as a regular follow focus set. Pero kagandahan dito, when you actually buy it, it comes with two motors. You can drive as many as three motors, pero pag binili mo, meron lang kasamang dalawa. Which is better than other follow focus sets, which only have one motor. Aside from having two motors, the best thing is that this kit actually comes with hand grips. These hand grips aren't just your standard hand grips. They're actually wireless follow focus controllers. So if you can see, meron siyang finger wheel that allows you to control iris focus and zoom. There's also a zoom rocker at your thumb position. And then the other one also has this finger wheel. So what this means is that you can actually rig this with your camera and control focus or zoom this way instead of using the follow focus hand wheel. So I'm gonna show you how to do that now. So as we mentioned, the Nucleus M comes with two motors. So now, yung makikita nyo, naka-mount siya sa Red Helium 8K namin. This is motor number one and motor number two. The first thing you do is once you have it attached and lined up with your follow focus gears, you just hit calibrate. And then what the motor does is it maps out yung dulo-dulo ng lente nyo. Minimum focus to maximum focus or infinity. Once it's mapped it out, you can then control it with your hand unit. So that's how it works. So now I can wirelessly control the focus gears or the focus uh, ring with my hand unit. And you do the same thing with the other one. You just allow it to calibrate. Then it maps out your whole zoom range. Goes to the very end and back, back to center. Now you know it's calibrated. This zoom rocker back here, ito na yung magko-control sa kanya. So I can go from 70 to 200 just by rocking this knob over here. If you had the third motor, you can put it here, pang control naman ng iris. Then you would use this knob to actually control the iris. Which could be very, very useful if you're shooting outdoors or the camera is on a crane, tapos hindi nyo maabot yung iris to, to adjust. Of course, this applies to a fully manual lenses. Ngayon, ang question is, what if you were using like a Canon lens or an electronic lens na walang focus ends? Ibig sabihin, it doesn't stop. It just keeps rotating and rotating with no focus ends. Most electronic lenses are like that. It's very easy because one of the functions that I really like about the Nucleus M is how easy it is to manually map focus ends. How you do it is, for example, this is the end of my, this is the beginning of my range. I just hit there's a button here called Mark. I just hold it down and you'll feel the hand controller vibrate. Then I move to the minimum focus. Titingnan mo lang yung calibration sa lens. When, that, when you hit that point, you let go. And then what you can see is, now the hand controller has mapped the entire range of the wheel to the entire range of your electronic lens. So now you've you've manually created endpoints. And it's very easy to, to redo it kung nagkamali kayo. You just hit, hold down, delete, and then everything goes back to full range. So that's how you do it. Another great feature is when you do A and B markers. Usually, on a traditional lens, you would do marker A, marker B, and then pipihitin mo with your hand to go to first position, second position. If you had a wireless follow focus like this, you can actually just go to the first mark, Let's say this is 10 feet. And then I hit mark, double click. And then the controller creates a marker there. And then the second position, halimbawa, lalapit sa yun yung talent, goes to 8 feet. I go to 8 feet. And then I double click again, mark. It creates a B point. And now, 
I can just look at my controller and go to A and go to B and watch the lens as it follows. Another great feature is that when I'm actually doing this, the hand controller vibrates when I hit A and B. Even if you're looking at the lens and looking at the calibration marks, the, the witness marks, once you hit 10 feet, the controller will vibrate, confirming that you've hit your mark. Going back to 7 feet or 8 feet, it will vibrate again, confirming that you're at the other mark. So again, it's very useful para may positive confirmation ka na haptic while you're actually looking at the focus marks. Lalo na if your focus marks are on the, the floor where the talent is moving, it would be nice to sort of feel your way through it dahil dun sa vibration. And that's something that's unique to the Nucleus M. As we mentioned earlier, the kit not only comes with a hand unit and two motors, it comes with two hand grips. So these are the hand grips that come with the Nucleus M. One for the right hand, one for the left. What I've done is, I put in slave mode yung hand unit. And now, that means these hand grips take priority. The mapping, yan, the right hand grip, is mapped to the first motor, which controls the focus. So if I move the finger wheel in front, you can see that the focus on the lens moves as well. In the same way, I've mapped the left hand grip to the second motor. So now I can control the zoom with this other hand. So it's a very, very simple way of controlling these two uh, rings on the lens. And what's good is that these two hand grips are completely wireless. And there's not even a cable for power because they're both powered using batteries. So what's the application? You can actually share focus and, and zoom controls between two people. You can hand this to your AC so we can control focus. And you can hold on to this if you're the DP if you want to control the zoom in or the zoom out. Useful siya if, again, you're very specific on what framing you want and the action or when to zoom. If it's like on a line, if you're the director and you need to wait for a line to just zoom in, then you can be controlling the zoom, okay? But you're not very good at focus, so you give the focus wheel to your AC. So in combination, in tandem, you can make for a very, very good workflow. This also works if you want to use a shoulder rig, tapo single operator ka, and you're using a manual lens. Siyempre, mahirap yun. What you do is you map the focus motors and the zoom motors to these two hand grips, and then use these two hand grips as your shoulder rig grips. Okay, so what we've done here is we've mounted the hand grips onto a shoulder mount rig. So you can it instead of using just basic rubberized hand grips, we've mounted the electronic wireless focus grips for the Nucleus M. So that means I have focus and zoom controls right at my fingertips. The left hand controls zoom while the right hand controls focus. So it's very useful if you're doing documentary work where you're, uh, you're alone and you don't have an AC to pull focus for you. It's also useful if you're doing like an action scene and you just, everything's just too fast for your AC to catch up and you want it to feel organic and then you're the only one who knows when you're gonna pan and focus and zoom. So it makes for very, very dynamic operation. And the hand grips are very ergonomic. They're very, very sturdy. So you don't have to worry about heavy camera rigs like this one. It just feels great when you're operating and you have full control of your focus and zoom. Another interesting thing is that the right hand grip also has a zoom rocker at the thumb position. If you just wanted to use one hand, and the left grip was just a regular grip, you can actually use the zoom rocker to control the zoom while your forefinger just controls the focus. So, pwedeng isang grip lang. So again, a lot of applications could rig this any which way you want. You can rig it on a tripod handle. If you're shooting like a live event, you could rig these hand controllers, these hand grips, at the base of like a jib or a crane if you're operating alone and you need to both handle focus and the swing and jib of such a rig. And again, it's completely wireless and it's completely, it's so easy to, to operate that you can get used to just using this all the time. So that's the Nucleus M, a wireless follow focus set that comes with a hand wheel and two hand grips that you can use either on your gimbal or on shoulder mount to control the focus, iris, and or zoom. So we're gonna be doing more videos on our gear. If you're interested, hit like, subscribe, comment down below, and we'll see you on the next video.